So if my brain's been learning all this time, does that mean I can actually relearn who I am? Oh, please say yes. I want to be the author of my story this time. You've met every part of this map. The watchtower that keeps you aware. The ACG and basal ganglia, your control panel. The insula, your emotional translator. The PCC and prachyneus, your rearview mirror. And the angular gyrus and temporal lobes, your story spinners and the vagus nerve, the lifeline that keeps it all in sync. When these regions and chemicals find rhythm again, that's integration. Your brain circuits stop fighting and start harmonizing. Thought, feeling, and body finally speak the same language. When trauma breaks connection, your story scatters. One writes the danger, Another edits it out, and one freezes the page. But when safety returns, when serotonin steadies, when oxytocin reconnects, and dopamine brings hope, the chapters of your life come back together. You'll know you're integrating when your flashbacks end in awareness, not panic. When your inner narrator says, Yes, that happened to me, and I survived. So while the last map, the fear circuit, told your past, this map, the Mohawk and the DMN, tell your present. So now that you've met all the key players of this map and what they do, we begin part two of this series tomorrow. Same map, new direction. Ongoing problems we may have because of what happened to us in the fear circuit, aka the past. And we'll connect each one with the science you see on this board. Those patterns have names in my trauma glossary too. So if you want a head start, go check it out on my site, defeatingchildhoodtrauma.com. And a little side note, guys. I am so excited for tomorrow and onwards because since 2021, when I founded the site, I've been building tools and healing systems for the very problems we're going to begin discussing.